What is going on guys? It's NASCAR Fan 97 back with you here. It's kind of a windy and somewhat rainy day here in my neck of the woods. Hurricane Zeta rolling through to the west of us, so we're getting the remnants of it, mostly the wind. <laughs> Speaking of weather, we have had a bunch of problems with weather in Texas this week. The race got pushed all the way back to yesterday before it could even get finished. Now, I was not able to film a finished reaction video for the cup race yesterday because really I was just busy. I had some schoolwork that I needed to do. I had Wednesday night services as well. So I really didn't have any time to film a finished reaction video. And according to the fans, it's probably a good thing that I did not have any time. As you folks know by now, the meme of winless Kyle Busch is now dead. He got his first win of the year finally yesterday, but it won't do him any good now. He missed the round of eight, so it won't do him any good. But heading into uh, Martinsville this week, it really is a last stand for Hendrick Motorsports and really the Chevrolet camp in particular because both Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman are 25 points below the cutoff line. Brad Keselowski currently holds that fourth spot. Harvick and Hamlin shouldn't make it in with no problem. But uh, even though it is technically possible that either Chase or Bowman could make it in on points ahead of Keselowski, it's probably going to have to take a win at Martinsville for one of those two in order to get in because I really don't see all of the playoff drivers having a somewhat down week, kind of like this week at Texas. But I think what threw them off was the weather. It was cold, it was rainy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, speaking of uh, Hendrick, they've been in a lot of NASCAR news lately. Uh, the big news is Kyle Larson being reinstated by NASCAR. He has been signed by Hendrick Motorsports to drive the five car for next year, renumbered from the 88. They haven't worked on sponsorship for that car yet, but uh, they have three months to do that. It'll be nice to see Kyle Larson back in the sport, and hopefully his demeanor will have calmed down a little bit. Um, for William Byron, it was announced that current Kyle Busch Motorsports crew chief in the truck series, Rudy Fugel, will be crew chiefing him next year. He worked with Byron back in 2016 when he was in the truck series. Seven wins as a rookie, but just barely missed the championship by a blown engine at Phoenix. He won Homestead but a blown engine at Phoenix was what kept him from a championship. So uh, hopefully uh, hopefully they link together well and they can be able to have some success because if that doesn't do it for Byron, I'm not sure what will. We may have to start considering his Cup Series future if something doesn't work there. So that means the Hendrick lineup for next year is Chase Elliott in the 9, William Byron in the 24, Alex Bowman in the 48, and Kyle Larson in the 5. Pretty good lineup, I would think. As, uh, hearing some strange noise coming from my car here. For some reason, the, uh, windshield wiper motor has gone haywire on my car here. It's not even raining right now, and it keeps trying to go intermittent wipers. It goes regular, it goes fast, it stops right in the middle, and I'm not even doing anything. The controls are off. So we're going to need to get that motor replaced soon, but not on a rainy day like this. Um, the World Series has ended in Major League Baseball yesterday, not yesterday, but uh, Tuesday, game six. The Dodgers ended up beating the Tampa Bay Rays in six games. Why does Atlanta have to blow 3-1 leads? Also, what astonishes me is that Kevin Cash, the Rays manager, decided to pull Blake Snell in the sixth inning when he's dealing. They put in Nick Anderson, and they eventually blow the lead and the series because of that. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's been kind of a whirlwind last couple of days. Texas in the rain. The World Series going on. Um... And other things like that. Oh, the Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals, they beat the Seattle Seahawks in overtime. Zane Gonzalez is our hero! 
<laughs> Zane Gonzalez is our hero. Anyway, um, I uh, just got Taco Bell for lunch. I'm trying that uh, Grande Stacker. So, hopefully it's good. But, uh, yeah, we're going to prepare for Martinsville this week. All three series are going to be running as there go my windshield wipers again. I need to show you guys this. Uh, can you guys see this? I'm not even doing anything. The controls are off. I swear the controls are off. <laughs> anyway, uh, all three series are running at Martinsville this weekend. Hopefully I can be able to get some videos up for you guys. Um, I'm currently wearing a uh, polo shirt. Normally I'd be wearing a t-shirt, but uh, school, my school is having spirit week this week, and I'm never a fan of spirit week. So... I'm having to wear a uniform all week, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's just about it for this uh, Thursday update. I need to get in before the rain starts. It's already windy. I need to eat my lunch. I need to get some more schoolwork done. And uh, see what the rest of the night holds for me. So I plan to see you guys this weekend on the channel for the Martinsville videos. Until then, this is NASCAR Fan 97 saying so long. And stay safe, and we'll see what happens heading into the final four for all three series. Take care.